Uh, tomorrow night, Candace Bergen, Buck Henry, and Dr. James Atz, curator and dean bibliographer at the Department of Ichthyology at the American Museum of Natural History. What? <laughs> Study of fish. Fish in that. How are you? Fine. Gee, I can Tina Turner. I can't believe it. Well, I can't believe it. I've been watching you for a long time, and I said, I wonder why we never did, why we never did his show. Did you really? Yeah. That's funny. So I came downstairs when you were rehearsing, and one of the guys in your group, who's a guy in a black suit, he stands back in the wings there? Magbride. Oh, uh, Magbride. Yeah. And I thought, gee, I hope they, they like me as much as I like them. <laughs> and I went up to him and I said, is everything okay? And he said, are you with the electric department here? <laughs> and I, I said, no, I, I'm not, but I could find somebody who is. Is there something, there was a cord there. Oh, but, I see. Uh, yeah, but then I, I think he's, he still doesn't know. He wants, he's back there wondering why an electrician is out here doing the show. <laughs> But it's nice to see you. Thank you. Ike and Tina Turner. You realize your initials started a scandal in the administration, ITT? ITT, little, yeah. Have, have you heard that before? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I gotta do something to keep ahead of you. Who, who influenced you most, uh, other than the obvious influence of Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy? Uh, <laughs> on your... <laughs> well, let's see. Is there anybody you can point to uh, that uh, you listened to as a kid and wanted to sound like? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Ray Charles. Sam Cooke. I've, yeah. uh, I, I never started wanting to be, you know, real feminine. Yeah. You know, like the girls singers and all. I started wanting to, you know, really. Good afternoon. Well, because when I started singing, uh, I had, you know, mostly male um, uh, singers. And um, I wanted to sound like they sound. So, I mean, I've been singing all my life, but when I started yeah. singing with him, I wanted to sound like them. And then with uh, liking Ray Charles and all, I just sort of went right along. I never had, have had a lot of uh, female uh, yeah. favorites. That's interesting, yeah. And she wanted to punch like a man, and all, all the women want to be men these days. What do you make of that, Ike? Uh, I didn't say I wanted to be a man. No, no, I didn't say that. I, I'm she sorry, I put words in your mouth. <laughs> and uh, is it true that your real names are um, Maurice and Samantha Fleischman and that oh, you changed wow. them to? <laughs> huh? Of course not, my name is Tina. <laughs> I just, I'm just checking all these rumors out. I, I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> but you did teach Mick Jagger to dance, I read in a Rolling Stone interview, and they wouldn't print anything but the truth. <laughs> well, I did, uh, now, I, I was, some of the songs, the I act, uh, the truth? Yeah. The no, not Stone. all the truth, not Rolling Stone. Anyway, <laughs> back to Mick. Okay. In the beginning, when we first worked with him overseas, and 66, yeah. I used to watch him standing in the wings, and I didn't know why, you know, was why, why he was looking. And then I started watching him. He was just doing the tamarind thing at first, you know, just beating on the floor with the tamarind. He'd tear up one, and he'd get the another, another one. And yeah. so when he came to the States and we worked with him, here he was all over the stage. And I said, aha, now I know what he was doing. So then after that, he'd come to the dressing room and I'd say, oh, the popcorn is out, Mick, can you do it? You know, and his coordination, I mean, his, his rhythm was really off, you know. But he'd try to do it, he'd, he'd bounce around. He said, well, I can't do that one. I just sort of do it my, my own way, you know. But, uh, so you noticed the influence there, though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Can I talk now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, who settles an argument if you? Please? Ah. Well, there you see. Things are not always the way they look, you know. No. no. Now I always I do just the talking. That Ike's kind of quiet. Yeah, he's, he's Ike is very bashful when the lights are on, and. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh... <laughs> he wasn't, he is now that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Sagittarius, I'm always blowing it. But anyway, when I gets before an audience, yeah. and, and all of a sudden he's aware that the microphone is on, he, he actually frees up. Like when he's in the recording studio, he turns yeah. out the lights in the control room, he has one of the musicians to record him, nobody else can be in, you can be in, because he can't stand to be, for all this attention to be directly on him. But on the other hand, Ike's the one that does all of the ruling around, the talking, the whole thing. He's the whole thing. But in public, he's, he's like this. Yeah, because he can't get it together. It takes him a, <laughs> it takes him a long time to get, mm -hmm. you know, really wound up. But once you get him stirred up, you can't stop him. He just goes on and on and on. You can't get a word in. You're a little like Arthur and Catherine Murray. You're, uh, that's oh, really? <laughs> I'm, I'm the only one who notices it, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I just... Uh, <laughs> and I, one thing I did want to check with you, and that, uh, I want you to perform again, but um, if you will, yeah. at these rates, uh, <laughs> is uh, they, they said there's tremendous discipline among the Iquettes. Those are the girls called, yeah. called the Iquettes. Is this true that, that they get fined $10 for uh, giggling on stage and that you're really like a sergeant with them? And... No, they don't get fined for giggling on stage. But oh, that's it, another myth then that yeah. I... At times when I'm serious, 
Well, see, I can't control Ike and the musicians. Ike's just really cutting up back there sometimes. You yeah. know, I'm serious, really singing a song almost in tears, and he's back there jabbing, having them to laugh. But I don't like the Ike gets to laugh because they're right out there with me, and they're sort of representing me, you know, and then they're all yeah. sniggling and everything. It just throws the whole thing off, you know. But, uh, you know, like, um, you can't tell Ike what to do. But, but you know. Sure. They, they do have fines yeah. for yeah. things like that. Uh, they do have fines. Oh, That's yeah, they, a, okay. they, they do. They, uh, yeah. For instance, like, here's some of the girls that sort of tacky. They don't like to really do their hair. You know, they yeah. say, well, it's enough of a curl in it. I can go on. Or, the, you know, they, they, they have a tendency to want to look great in the street. They don't want to put forth any efforts to the stage wear. So you have to really stay on them all the time about little things that they, that they really need. And so little things like that is what I really get them for. But I other see. than that. But you, so you are a disciplinarian. Ike, <laughs> are you glad to be here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me in. I want to be closer to you Open up your soul And let me find that part of you The part that nobody ever knew Let me touch you You can make me happy, but you just got to, you just got to let me in, let me touch your mind.
Thank you so much.